I am so glad that you have decided to join us today. Today, we are continuing our Godly Play series on the parables. Our parable today is called The Good Samaritan. Hmm, I wonder why is it called that? Let us get ready by saying a prayer so we are able to receive what God would have to say to us today. The Lord be with you, and you can say, and also with you. O oh Lord, mercifully receive the prayers of your people who call upon you, and grant that they may know and understand what things they ought to do and also may have grace and power faithfully to accomplish them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You need to be very careful when you come close to a parable. You need to be ready. You can break a parable if you aren't ready. Look, the box is the color of gold. Perhaps there is something like gold inside that is valuable. Perhaps there is a parable inside. They are very valuable even more valuable than gold. This box has a lid on it. Sometimes it's as if parables have doors that are shut. And you can't go inside the parable even if you are ready. I don't know why. It just happens sometimes. So don't be discouraged. Keep coming back again and again. And one day the parable will open up for you. This box looks like a present. You know, there may be a parable inside because you were given parables as a present even before you were born. Even if you don't know what a parable is, it is still yours. It looks old. Parables are also old. They are older than you or me. They're even older than your grandmother or your grandfather. They are almost 2,000 years old. I wonder if there really could be a parable inside. I wonder. I have an idea. Let's Take a look inside. Hmm. Mm. I, I wonder what this is. It could be dirt. It could be a dirt hill. It could be a dirt mountain. I, I wonder what this could really be. Man. I wonder. Oh, garden. There is so much brown. There is no green at all. Look, there is no blue. There is nothing but brown. And the, and the brown is scratchy. I wonder what this could really be. 
maybe a, a cookie or a piece of wood. Now, I wonder what this could be. Oh. Go a path. What could it really be? Hmm. Maybe it's a crack. Maybe the whole whole thing's gonna just break in two pieces. Let's see if there is anything to help us. Oh, look, it, it is a road. It's going from this place to this place. But look, there, there is more. Look at this. wonder what these things could be. There is no light in them at all. They're like shadows. Let's see what else there is to help us make up the parable. There was once someone who did such amazing things and said such wonderful things that people followed him. As they followed him, they heard him speaking of many things. Sometimes people asked him questions. One day, a person asked him what was the most important thing in life. The person he asked said, you know already. That is true. I do. It is to love God and to love people just like they are your neighbors. The person paused a while and thought. And he asked another question. But who is my neighbor? The person he asked told this parable. There was once someone who went from Jerusalem down to Jericho. As he went along his way, he was attacked by robbers. They took everything he had and they left him by the side of the road half dead. There was also a great priest of the temple who went on the road from Jerusalem down to Jericho. As he went along his way, he came to the place where the person who had been hurt had everything taken away from him and had been left by the side of the road, half dead. When the priest came to him, the priest went to the other side and went along his way. There was also someone else who worked at the temple, who went from Jerusalem down to Jericho. He was one of the people who helped the priests. He took care of the temple and he helped with the music. He was called a Levite. When the Levite came to the person where came to the place where the person who had been hurt, who had everything taken from him and had been left by the side of the road, half dead, he went to the other side and went 
along his way. There was also a person who went on the road that did not live in Jerusalem. He was from a country called Samaria. The people in Samaria did not like the people in Jerusalem. And the people in Jerusalem did not like the people from Samaria. When the stranger came to where the person was who had been hurt, had everything taken away from him and had been left by the side of the road half dead. The stranger went to him. The stranger put medicine on the places where the person was hurt. He gave him his coat to put on. He then put him on his donkey and took him to a place to spend the night. The stranger even stayed with him all the night. And in the morning, he gave the innkeeper enough money for him to stay there until he was well. Now I wonder, who is the neighbor to the person that was hurt, had everything taken away from him, and was left by the side of the road, half dead? I wonder if this could be the one. This one? Could it be this one? I wonder who was the neighbor to this one? <laughs> That's not so easy, is it? Could it be this one? How about this? This one? Who is the neighbor to this one? Now, I wonder what would happen if all the people in the parable were women instead of men. I wonder, I wonder what would happen if the person finding the injured traveler was a child. Do you think that they would go and get an adult to help? I wonder. Here is the traveler. The Samaritan. The priest. The Levite, the two thieves, Jericho and Jerusalem, the rocks and the road. Let us close today by saying the Lord's Prayer together. You might already know it, or you could try and follow along with the words on the screen. The Lord be with you, and you can say, and also with you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I hope you guys have a fantastic week.